the synchrotron represents a unique resource in Canada and I think it, it intrigues students and it draws students, students that want to be at the cutting edge of science in this area. The synchrotron is a game changer, really putting us on to an international scale. We don't need a nuclear reactor, we can make, make medical isotopes right here at the same time as someone else is trying to image cancer cells. So we're looking at both the discovery and we're also looking at the application. There is a growing population and there is a need to produce more food for the population. Canadian Light Source has the right combination of beam lines or the, the different types of light needed for plant research. Right now there's a big push to understand the global carbon cycle. The measurements we do here at the beam line, a lot of them are looking at trying to understand exactly what's going on at the microbial level and at the chemical level to better uh, interpret how carbon is being absorbed back into the soil from the atmosphere. We work with Arriva Resources Canada in Saskatchewan. It's a local uranium mining company. And these are very complicated materials. They have a complicated chemistry. And the, and the more information that companies like Arriva Resources has on the composition of the tailings, the better they can predict how those materials will change over time and potentially uh, interact with the environment. We'll be able to image with this ability to zoom in on interesting bits. We'll be able to measure concentrations of things in biological systems that people haven't ever been able to measure before. We'll push back the frontiers. In order for us to push those boundaries, we really have to be innovative. This is where the CLS excels. I think the program Students on the Beam Lines is really very important because it forms the scientific scientific because it allows us to orient ourselves on our choice of career. It started in that areas of kind of chemical and physics, very fundamental science, but over the last 20 years you're seeing an evolution to things more like geology, mining research, and work we're doing here looking at our thing, issues like arsenic, selenium, molybdenum, and mine wasting uh, for some of the mining companies, to areas of carbon fiber compasses for aerospace, to pharmaceutical research, to agricultural research. We really do get to touch the world in many, many ways. You discover things for the first time that no one else has ever seen and that do wonderful things. I think it's very fulfilling as a, as a scientist to be part of an environment like the CLS where, where groundbreaking uh, science is done. That's the key to this place in the future. It's to take the great science that we are actually seeing to help that translate into the technology that we see every day when we leave this building.